So you've reached a point where your creams are not working well for your skin and there are really two alternative treatments that you could have. Um, the first is light treatment, which you may or may not already have received, but if not, there's a video about that too. And the second um, is an oral drug. And the main drug that we use for both psoriasis and eczema is called methotrexate. Um, and it's a very safe drug that's been around for many years. It's 75 years since it was developed. Um, there are thousands of people on it in, in the local area and you know, millions worldwide have used it very safely for a long time now. Um, technically, it's an immune suppressing drug. It was developed to treat childhood cancer. Um, and we're using it in much lower doses. Um, and it's a very effective drug for both eczema and psoriasis. Um, do you have any questions about that? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I am a little bit worried about the idea of taking an immune suppressing drug. Can you, can you tell me more about that? Yeah, so as I said, in the doses that we use nowadays, and, and this has been standard really for maybe 20 or 30 years, um, the drug may not really be suppressing the immune system at all, or if so, in a minimal kind of way. It's more modulating your immune system. So the original doses are probably 10 plus times greater than, than those that we use now. But that being said, we do treat it like it's an immune suppressing drug. We monitor your immune system to make sure that it's OK. Um, and you'd imagine if your immune system was being suppressed, you would be much more susceptible to picking up infections. Um, and if if there is a slight increase in infections in people on methotrexate at the doses we use, it's going to be marginal. It'll be quite a subtle change and we can't really prove that either way. Um, but yes, most people are concerned about the fact that it is an immunosuppressant, um, but really we do not see the problems that you would associate with immune suppression. So, I mean, how likely is it to work uh, for my skin and, and how long do you think it will take? Me to get better. Really, it's become the standard drug to to use for eczema and psoriasis, and it's it's likely to work in perhaps in eczema. About eighty percent of people, um, maybe 75 80 percent of people with psoriasis do well on it, um, and and it's really considered by most dermatologists not only to be the most effective but also to be the safest drug to use, and you can be on it long term. Um, I think the second part of your question was how long it would take to work. Um, one downside is that it's generally a slow acting drug um, and it would take usually weeks if not a few months to have its full effect. Mm -hmm. We usually start at a lower dose um, just to try and prevent any early side effects um, and it's often on higher doses that you, you get the full effect. So probably the average would be about three months to have a reasonable effect. Some, some people it takes longer, can be six months or longer than that. And occasionally people, it'll take a few weeks and they will get better. Um, and sometimes because we're expecting it to take a while, we'll give you additional treatment, antibiotics, stronger topical steroids alongside the methotrexate for the first few months so that you do get better more quickly for other reasons other than the drug itself. So, so uh, if I start it, what can I what can I expect, and uh, are there any side effects? So most people won't have any side effects at all on it, um, and then you can split side effects into two groups: kind of common, commoner nuisance side effects, um, and very rare side effects. And the, the commonest side effect, probably affecting about one in four, one in three people to a minor degree, would be queasiness or proper nausea. Um, sometimes other things like headaches. Um, sometimes that'll just pass off in the first few weeks. Um, sometimes it persists. Um, there's a slight way around that is that we co-prescribe the methotrexate. We give alongside it a different um, tablet, which is a vitamin folic acid, and that helps prevent some of the, the nausea that you get on methotrexate or that a small proportion of people get um, significantly. But most people, it'll be a nuisance rather than, than a big problem. So that's the commonest side effect. Um, rarer side effects will be things like potentially getting in infections, which, as I've said, is not is not really that great a problem. Um, you would need blood tests when you're on the methotrexate because we're keeping an eye on your immune system. And the other thing that we look at is your liver. Um, 
And one rare side effect of methotrexate is that, that it potentially can cause scarring in the liver. Um, but that really is a tiny minority of people, usually people who've been on it for often decades or for many years. Um, and there's a way of predicting whether that's developing. So if you were to stay on methotrexate every two or three years, we would do a scan of your liver to check everything was OK. And we do liver blood tests every three months. And then finally, really, this isn't a problem in our patients, but you do see it very rarely in other patients, for example, who've got rheumatoid arthritis on methotrexate. I um, mean, so you can get lung problems due to the drug, um, but we've almost never seen that in patients who've got skin diseases. OK, thanks. Um, I mean, lastly, am I able to start a family if I'm on methotrexate? So the, the standard advice is no, particularly if you're a woman. So women can't get pregnant on methotrexate because the, they, there is an increased incidence of babies being born with malformations. Um, so we recommend that women have a contraception, that they're not planning to start a family when they're on methotrexate. And it takes a while to wash the drug out of the body after you've stopped it. So you can't start a family for six months until you've stopped the methotrexate if you're a woman. Um, Likewise, if um, you're breastfeeding, um, a tiny amount of methotrexate gets through to breast milk. So we advise against that, although it probably is safe in all honesty. Um, and then if you're a man looking to start a family, um, the standard advice again is that you're, you shouldn't be taking methotrexate when you're trying to have a family. Um, but the data on that is really even less convincing that there's a problem um, and some groups of um, some different specialties other than dermatology allow men to father children on methotrexate, but we're still sticking with the standard advice of avoiding it. Does that answer your questions? It does. It does. Thank you very much. Thank you.